Buildings are central to human life. Our day-to-day -day life has everything to do with the buildings that we're in. But buildings are not purely artistic and they're not purely rational. And people and how we experience buildings are not purely rational or purely creative. Architecture, it's a design major, right? So you're not really focused on you know, the nuts and bolts of the thing. You, you envision the grand scheme of the project. Like, what is this thing gonna be? What is this design? Whereas the engineer says, okay, you know, that's a cool design, but how does this actually get built? Architectural engineering is more focused on building systems, what makes up the building. So you have like your structure, what holds up the building, and then you have your mechanical systems, so, like how things are heated and cooled and how you keep people comfortable inside the building. So that's why it's, it's kind of a science of buildings, is because you ha you're bringing in this technical knowledge to solve problems. So our keys pro solve anything from you know, a load analysis, which is figuring out like whether the uh, structure is going to be able to hold up, all the way to understanding the budget of a project. Instead of looking at how to design a building from the ground up, building forensics is going into an existing building and seeing like, okay, this building failed. Why did it fail? And that to me is like really fun because it's kind of like detective work. It's like an investigation. Sustainability is becoming increasingly important in part because we are becoming more aware of the changes that are happening to our environment and the world around us. So what architectural engineers provide are the actual knowledge and technical knowledge to sort of say like, this is what we should do. That can mean like the, down to the materials that we choose, you know, or the construction process. How do you reduce the amount of waste coming off of a construction site? How do you design a building so that it consumes as little energy as possible to begin with, you know, because the sun has a huge impact on buildings. How do you mitigate that? One of the key ways in which architectural engineering can influence the health of a building is through indoor air quality because it's influenced so much by the way that the structure of a building facilitates airflow as well as the mechanical sides of how much heat or particulate matter or pollutants or energy, right? all those things that are happening with the, the HVAC system and the materials of a building. People who look at things like how carpets off-gas pollutants, how they hold particulate matter that then gets re-agitated and enters the air again through vacuuming. Those kinds of studies are being done by architectural engineers 